Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed and the legacies of the most notable personalities. Rob Laxo, a profoundly talented musician and a loving family man. Rob Laxo, a gifted musician and cherished member of Kurt Vile and the Violators, has passed away at the age of 44 after a courageous battle with cancer. Laxo's undeniable talent and passion for music left a lasting impression on the music industry and the hearts of those who knew him. Laxo joined the Violators in 2013 as a guitarist and keys player, stepping in for the war on drugs Adam Grandushal. He contributed to several of Vile's albums, including 2013's Waking on a Pretty Days, 2015's Believe I'm Going Down, and 2018's Bottle It In. Most recently, Laxo worked with Vile on the 2022 album Watch My Moves. In addition to his work with The Violators, Laxo was a member of the shoegaze band Swirlies and the indie rock group Mice Parade. Laxo's legacy reaches far beyond his musical accomplishments, as he was a dedicated husband and father to his wife and two children. In a touching tribute on the family's GoFundMe page, Jerry Martha O'Hara shared how Rob remained stoic and present with his family throughout his battle with cancer, valuing every moment spent with his loved ones. Rob Laxo's enduring love for life and his determination to make the most of every day serve as an inspiration to others. In his final days, Laxo found joy in the simple pleasures of life, such as watching his children play in the backyard. As a musician, a husband and a father, Rob Laxo's legacy will be remembered for his unwavering spirit and the profound impact he had on the lives of those around him. Tributes to Rob Laxo Philippe Solas, a towering figure in French literature and intellectual life. Philippe Solas, a prolific and influential French author, passed away at the age of 86 on Saturday, May 6. With a literary career spanning more than half a century, Solas, born Philippe Joyot, was a prominent figure in the literary world, contributing novels, essays, biographies, literary criticism articles and forums. Born on November 28, 1936, in Talence near Bordeaux, Solas hailed from a bourgeois family. He published his first novel, a Curious Loneliness, at the young age of 22 in 1958, quickly garnering acclaim from literary giants such as François Mauriac and Louis Aragon. With his unique wit, he often referred to these early endorsements as support from the Vatican and the Kremlin. In 1961, Sola's second novel, The Park, received the prestigious Prix Medicis, further solidifying his status as a noteworthy writer. Throughout his impressive career, Solas distinguished himself as a powerful voice in French literature, consistently pushing boundaries with his incisive intellect and innovative approach to writing. His work, which spanned genres and styles, demonstrated his vast range and versatility as a writer. Solas' passing leaves an indelible mark on the literary landscape, as his work continues to inspire and influence generations of writers and readers alike. Beyond his literary accomplishments, Philippe Solas was an essential figure in French intellectual life, engaging in thought-provoking discussions and debates on a wide array of topics. His contributions to both literature and intellectual discourse leave a lasting legacy that will be remembered and celebrated for years to come. Tributes to Philippe Solas Sonia Pizarro, a fearless force in reality television. Sonia Pizarro, best known for her role in the popular reality TV show Operation Repo, has passed away at the age of 60. With her tenacious spirit and bold personality, she left a lasting impact on the world of reality television. Born into a family deeply rooted in the car repossession industry, Sonia's passion and determination shone brightly throughout her time on Operation Repo. The show, which aired from 2007 to 2014, provided viewers with a thrilling glimpse into the high-pressure world of car repossession in California's San Fernando Valley. Alongside her fellow cast members, including her ex-husband Froilan Tercero and niece Linda Pizarro, Sonia became a fan favorite for her tough, no-nonsense attitude. 
Despite facing significant health challenges in recent years, Sonia's resilience remained unwavering. In May 2018, she suffered a stroke while driving, which led to the loss of her speech and motor functions. However, Sonia continued to fight, with her family sharing updates on her recovery process and expressing gratitude for the support they received from fans. Sonia's legacy extends far beyond her time on Operation Repo. As a fearless woman in a male-dominated industry, she proved that anyone could succeed with hard work, dedication, and an unyielding spirit. Through her strength and perseverance, Sonia inspired countless fans and left an indelible mark on the reality television landscape. Her loved ones, including her ex-husband Froyland Tessero and son, will remember her as a fierce, loving, and unforgettable woman. As Froyland stated in his Instagram tribute, Sonia will always have a place in his heart and on his body since he still has her name tattooed on his stomach. Tributes to Sonia Pizarro. Chris Strachwitz, a champion of American vernacular music and enduring legacy. Chris Strachwitz, the founder of Ahuli Records, passed away at the age of 91 from complications with congestive heart failure. Strachwitz was a producer, musicologist, and one-man preservation society whose record label released thousands of songs by regional performers, creating an extraordinary American archive appreciated worldwide. He was admired by music legends such as Bob Dylan and Bonnie Raitt, and received a Grammy Trustee Award in 2016. Born in Germany and raised in privilege, Strachwitz was an unlikely champion of American vernacular music. He founded Ahuli Records in 1960 and spent decades traveling across the United States to record little-known artists in their home environments. His intrepid field recording work placed him among the greats like Alan Lomax. Ahuli's vast catalog includes blues, Tejano, folk, jazz, gospel, and Zydeco music, featuring Grammy winners Flaco Jimenez and Clifton Chenier. Artists such as Rai Kuda and Taj Mahal, as well as the Rolling Stones, have cited the label's releases as significant influences on their work. Strachwitz's dedication to preserving authentic music led him to establish the Ahuli Foundation in 1995, with advisors including Dylan, Raitt, and Linda Ronstadt. The foundation's mission is to document, preserve, present, and disseminate authentic traditional and regional vernacular music. In 2016, Strachwitz sold his majority interest in Ahuli Records to Smithsonian Folkways Recordings, ensuring the label's continued legacy. Chris Strachwitz was more than a music producer. He was an ambassador for the authentic, earthy sounds of American vernacular music. His tireless pursuit of preserving and sharing these musical gems has left an immeasurable impact on the world of music, influencing countless artists and ensuring that the voices of regional musicians continue to be heard and appreciated for generations to come. Tributes to Chris Strachwitz. Tom Hornbein, a pioneering mountaineer and medical innovator. Tom Hornbein, a renowned mountaineer and medical professional who conquered Mount Everest's treacherous West Ridge, has passed away at the age of 92. Born in St. Louis, Missouri, Hornbein developed a deep-rooted interest in geology and mountains during his teenage years, which eventually led to his profound fascination with mountaineering. Hornbein was not only an accomplished climber, but also an esteemed anesthesiologist. He graduated with an MD degree from Washington University School of Medicine in 1956 and later served as the professor and chairman of the Department of Anesthesiology at the University of Washington School of Medicine in Seattle, Washington. Hornbein made significant contributions to the field of high-altitude physiology, combining his expertise in medicine and his love for mountaineering. In 1963, Hornbein joined the American Everest Expedition, and embarked on a daring mission to scale the world's tallest peak alongside his climbing partners, Billy Unsold and Dick Emerson. The team had a unique plan in mind, to conquer the formidable West Ridge, a route that had never been attempted before. Their audacious plan involved ascending the West Ridge and descending via the Southeast Ridge South Coal Route, which would make their endeavor the first traverse of an 8,000-meter peak. Despite facing numerous challenges, including Unsold unexpectedly running out of oxygen, Hornbein and his team persevered, 
and successfully reached the summit. Their triumph over the West Ridge forever cemented their place as pioneers of high-altitude exploration. Tom Hornbein's lasting legacy lies in his incredible accomplishments in both mountaineering and medicine. His tenacity, courage and resilience in the face of adversity have left an indelible mark on the world, inspiring generations of climbers and medical professionals alike. Tributes to Tom Hornbein Asia Abdelmajid, a pioneer and enduring symbol of Sudanese theater. Asia Abdelmajid, one of Sudan's first theater stars and a pioneer of the stage, tragically lost her life in crossfire in the north of Khartoum. Born in 1943, Abdelmajid gained prominence 58 years ago in a production of the play Pam Sika at the National Theater in Omdurman. As Sudan's first professional stage actress, she later retired from acting to become a teacher. Abdel Majid's death has sent shockwaves through Sudan's capital, as residents mourn the loss of a celebrated cultural icon. Her contributions to the arts have left a lasting legacy in the nation, with her work on the stage inspiring generations of actors and theatre enthusiasts. Asia Abdel Majid's family buried her within hours of her shooting in the grounds of a kindergarten where she had most recently been working. The ongoing conflict in the city made it too dangerous to transport her to a cemetery. The exact circumstances of her death remain unclear, as paramilitary fighters of the Rapid Support Forces continue to engage in battles with the army. Amidst the conflict, the people of Khartoum struggle to maintain a semblance of normalcy, with families and individuals like Asia Abdel Majid being caught in the crossfire. The escalating violence has left many feeling abandoned by the international community and desperate for a resolution to the crisis. As Sudan mourns the loss of Asia Abdel Majid, her pioneering spirit and unwavering dedication to the arts will not be forgotten. Her memory lives on through the countless lives she touched as an actress, teacher and cultural trailblazer. Tributes to Asia Abdelmajid Lassa Wellander a guitar virtuoso and cherished collaborator. Lassa Wellander, the long-serving guitarist for the legendary pop group ABBA, has passed away at the age of 70 after being diagnosed with cancer. Wellander's exceptional talent and musical brilliance made him an integral part of ABBA's success and garnered him respect as a superb guitarist. Raised in Skrikaritten, Sweden, Wellander began his career in local bands such as Nature, the backing band of Swedish singer-songwriter Ted Gardestad. It was through Gardestad that he met ABBA members Bjorn Ulveus and Benny Andersson, eventually joining the band in October 1974. Over the years, Wellander played on their biggest albums and toured with them from 1975 to 1980, leaving an indelible mark on the band's legacy. ABBA members Ulveus, Andersson, Agnetha Falzkog, and Annie Frid Lingstad remembered Wellander in a heartfelt statement saying, Lassa was a dear friend, a fun guy and a superb guitarist. The importance of his creative input in the recording studio as well as his rock-solid guitar work on stage was immense. They emphasized that his loss would be deeply felt and he would never be forgotten. Even after ABBA's split, Wellander continued to play on their respective solo albums and participated in numerous projects, including the Chess Concept album and the soundtracks to Mamma Mia, the movie and its sequel, Mamma Mia. Here we go again. He also appeared on Foltzkog's solo albums, Wrap Your Arms Around Me, 1983, and My Coloring Book, 2004. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to music, Wellander received the Albin Hagström Memorial Award from the Royal Swedish Academy of Music in 2005, and the Swedish Musicians' Union's Special Prize for his work as a session musician in 2018. Lasse Wellander's enduring legacy lies in his immense talent, and the unwavering dedication he showed to his craft. As a cherished collaborator and friend, he played a vital role in shaping the sound of one of the most iconic bands in music history. Tributes to Lassa Wellander
Peter Martin, a beloved actor and enduring presence in British television. Peter Martin, the talented actor known for his roles in classic British sitcoms such as The Royal Family and Emmerdale, has passed away at the age of 82. Martin's lengthy career spanned both television and film, earning him a lasting legacy as a beloved figure in British entertainment. In The Royal Family, Martin portrayed Joe Carroll, the royal's neighbour for 14 years, cementing his status as a memorable character in the popular sitcom. His role as Len Reynolds in ITV's Emmerdale from 2001 to 2007 further showcased his acting abilities and endeared him to audiences across the UK. Martin's extensive TV credits include appearances in All Creatures Great and Small, Chucklevision, Playing the Field, Victoria Wood, and Last of the Summer Wine. His film career featured roles in Brassed Off, where he starred opposite Ewan McGregor and Pete Postlethwaite. His talents extended beyond television and film, as Martin also graced the stage in a 2007 production of Dad's Army and starred in the 2018 comedy film Walk Like a Panther, alongside Stephen Graham and Stephen Tompkinson. In the 1980s, Martin became a recognisable face in a series of TV ads for builders merchants Juson, where he played a bewildered customer, listening to a salesman listing exotic timbers on offer. Tributes have poured in from friends, fans and colleagues alike, including a heartfelt message from his former royal family co-star, Ricky Tomlinson. Tomlinson, who doesn't use social media, shared his tribute through comedian John Martin, stating, Ricky said he was an absolute joy to work with and a brilliant actor. He will be sadly missed by Ricky, RIP. The Gold TV channel, which is airing all three seasons of The Royal Family back-to-back over the coronation weekend, also expressed their condolences, writing, All of us at Gold are saddened by the passing of Peter Martin, who lit up the screen as Joe Carroll in The Royal Family. Our thoughts go out to his family and friends. Peter Martin's enduring legacy lies in his memorable performances, and the warmth he brought to each of his roles, making him a cherished figure in the world of British entertainment. Tributes to Peter Martin. Linda Lewis, a remarkable voice and influential presence in music history. Linda Lewis, The renowned British singer-songwriter with a career spanning over four decades has passed away at the age of 72. Known for her impressive five-octave vocal range, which garnered comparisons to Minnie Riperton and Mariah Carey, Lewis enjoyed solo success in the 1970s and a long career as a backing vocalist for iconic artists such as David Bowie, Rod Stewart and Yusuf Islam. Born Linda Ann Fredericks in West Ham in 1950, Lewis attended stage school and began her career in acting making a cameo as a screaming fan in the Beatles' film A Hard Day's Night in 1964. After signing with Polydor, she adopted the surname Lewis in honour of singer Barbara Lewis, a name also adopted by her singer sisters and their mother. A self-taught guitarist and keyboard player, Lewis had four top 40 hits in the 1970s, including Rock-A-Doodle-Doo and her biggest hit, It's In His Kiss, a cover later made famous by Cher as the Shoop Shoop song. She appeared at the first Glastonbury Festival in 1970 and was part of a commune in Hampstead, frequented by artists like Yusuf Islam, Mark Bolan and Elton John. Throughout her career, Lewis provided backing vocals for numerous legendary artists, such as Bowie, Stewart, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel, Rick Wakeman, Joan Armatrading and Jamiroquai. Her song Old Smokey was sampled by rapper Common in his 2005 hit Go, produced by Kanye West. Lewis also collaborated with Basement Jacks on the track Close Your Eyes. Even as her career progressed, Lewis continued to perform, with her last track Earthling, a collaboration with UK band The Paracosmos, released in March this year. In her memoirs, Lewis reflected on her experiences. When I look back, I realise I've lived an extraordinarily rich life. Would I do it all again, given a chance? No. Would I do some of it again? Certainly. Linda Lewis's remarkable voice and influential presence in music history have left an indelible mark, and her contributions to the industry will be remembered for years to come. Tributes to Linda Lewis Thanks for watching Who Died Today America. If you enjoyed this tribute, 
please give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring stories. Leave a comment below telling us who inspired you the most. See you in the next video.